You wake up tired, but restless. You grab your phone before your feet even hit the floor. Scroll a few clips, check a few messages, and somehow you're already scattered. This video is brought to you by my HarperCollins published book, Mind Over Explicit Matter. If you're ready to quit porn and reclaim your life mentally and physically, go over to drtrishlee.com backslash book. You're not lazy. You're not unmotivated. Your dopamine system is out of balance. Every time you reach for a quick hit, the scroll, the text, the notification, the late night video, your brain learns to crave more and more stimulation instead of satisfaction. And the result, you lose focus, drive, and even pleasure. Today, I'm going to show you how to take back control of your dopamine and walk you through the most common triggers stealing your brain's vitality, porn, screens, constant alerts, and of course, overwork. Because if you can control your dopamine, you can control your motivation, your focus, and your life. Dopamine is the molecule of pursuit, not pleasure. It rises when you anticipate something rewarding, not when you get it. That anticipation drives action, to move, to explore, to achieve. Once you reach your goal, finish the project, complete the workout, connect with someone, dopamine levels drop and serotonin and oxytocin rise. That shift is what gives you calm, fulfillment, and focus. But here's the problem. Modern life keeps dopamine high all the time. Endless stimulation, no recovery. Your brain never gets the serotonin and oxytocin balance that completes the reward cycle. In neuroscience, we call this dopamine dysregulation. When the pursuit system stays on, but satisfaction shuts off. Every behavior that spikes dopamine, screens, porn, gaming, caffeine, even multitasking, pushes your reward system higher than it was designed to go. In the brain, that's visible on a QEG brain map as hyperactive limbic regions, especially the nucleus accumbens and the ventral tegmental area, the parts of your brain's reward network. Each spike feels good in the moment, but the brain compensates by pulling dopamine back down below baseline. That drop leaves you feeling dull, tired, or restless. So, of course, you go back for another hit. That's the feedback loop. And here's the critical piece. The more you repeat the loop, the fewer dopamine receptors you have available. Your brain literally adapts by turning down its sensitivity to protect itself. The brain is always trying to get to a place of homeostasis. Think of it like peaks and valleys. The higher the peaks, the lower the valleys until the brain regulates and makes them feel not as high or not as low. You feel numb. So you go even higher and then even lower. Let's talk about the big four triggers that hijack this system. Number one, porn. It's the fastest dopamine delivery system ever invented. Instant novelty, zero effort, endless variation. Over time, that overstimulation dulls your reward receptors and weakens the prefrontal cortex, the part that controls impulse and focus. That's why many men that I see in my clinic end up stuck in compulsive loops or experience erectile dysfunction. It's not psychological shame. It's neurochemical exhaustion. Number two, screens. Every scroll, like, and notification gives your brain a microdose of dopamine. But 200 to 400 hits a day keeps your reward system constantly elevated. Your brain never gets a rest. The chronic high activity is what causes focus, fragmentation, and anxiety. Number three, good old-fashioned overwork. Productivity addiction is dopamine in disguise. 
Every check on the list spikes dopamine, but without breaks, your brain stops linking work to satisfaction. That's why burnout feels empty. You're chasing progress without feeling progress. Number four, stress. Cortisol and dopamine feed each other. The higher your stress, the more your brain craves quick reward to offset it. The more you give in, the more the system stays stuck. In QEEG brain maps, dopamine burnout shows up very clearly. Overactive limbic activity, too much high beta power in the emotional centers, and underactive prefrontal regions, the areas responsible for focus, decision-making, and self-regulation. That means your brain is constantly ready to react, but can't sustain direction. You feel alert, but scattered, busy, but unfulfilled. That imbalance keeps you chasing stimulation instead of satisfaction. So what does it look like when your dopamine spins out of control? You start chasing the next hit, not because you really want it, but because you can't stand the quiet in between. You open 10 tabs and finish none. You scroll past things you don't even like. You grab your phone mid-conversation, mid-meal, mid-thought, because your brain is begging for the next pulse of excitement. In this way, motivation turns into anxiety. Focus turns into restlessness. Pleasure turns into numbness. And until you retrain it, every part of life starts to feel harder. Relationships, work, even rest. You're no longer choosing stimulation. Stimulation is choosing you. We talked about the peaks and the valleys and what your brain does to maintain homeostasis on its own. But dopamine regulation is trainable. Your brain can recover sensitivity and rebuild balance through neuroplasticity. You have to be the one to control it, or you know what I always say, it will control you. So step one is to reduce the spikes. Cut down on rapid dopamine hits, scrolling, porn, constant alerts, anything that rewards you instantly without effort. Each time you resist that urge, your brain strengthens the prefrontal cortex, the part that gives you long-term control. Step two, recognize healthy rewards and set up a system for that. Dopamine was designed to rise with pursuit. So give it healthy challenges, exercise, deep work, finishing tasks. These start to reset your reward circuitry. Step three, balance the chemistry. Real satisfaction comes from oxytocin and serotonin systems, connection, nature, rest, laughter. These activities lower limbic over activation, and restore calm. In my clinic, we use brain mapping and neurofeedback to measure these changes in real time. Watching the brain's reward networks calm, the frontal regions re-engage, and balance return. Dopamine isn't your enemy. It is your engine. But if you don't control it, it will control you. When you reset your dopamine system, you don't just get focus back you get satisfaction back. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, and this is Saturday Neuroscience, real science, real change. I'll see you next time.